from the CSOM 101 series we are in part 5 and in this video I would like to show you how you can add a single item to a SharePoint list using client-side object model and C Sharp. We start with a quick code review and then we go through a demo of inserting a single record to a SharePoint using CSOM. In the code review we have a list called test list and we would like to add one single record into this list. The fields are title and amount. Title is single line of text and the amount is a number. This is the code that will do the job. So we create a client context just like any other code. We get a reference to the web, we get a reference to the list and then to add a list item we need to create a variable of type list item creation information whatever the variable you want to call it and we create a new instance. Right after this instance is created we pass it to the add item function from the list and the add item will do the job and return a reference to the list item that is just created. Now we can add the values to every single field, update the item and then we execute query. So we create a Windows Forms application, we add required references, add code to insert a record to SharePoint list and finally we run and test the application. Inside Visual Studio I create a new project of type Windows Forms application and I call it CSOM 101 part 5. The Windows Forms is created, I just right click and I add the reference, I add the references to SharePoint.Client.dll and SharePoint.Client.Runtime.dll I click OK and the references are added. Now I add a button and I call it Insert Record. Now let's go to SharePoint. Inside SharePoint I created a list called Products. Products has a couple of fields. It has title, quantity, unit of measurement, and expiry date. Single line of text, number, single line of text, and date. So let's get back to Visual Studio and insert the values. So inside Visual Studio, I click on insert, I go to the top of the page using Microsoft.SharePoint.Client and again the form ambiguity that needs to be resolved I would say specifically this is the Windows Forms it is not my SharePoint form and it's time to start with the client context object so using client context ctx equals new client context and I need a URL for this site web my web equals ctx dot web so I get the reference to the web object and list my list equals my web dot lists dot get by title the list title is products now list item creation information I would say ITM creation info equals new list item creation information now it's time to say my list dot add item it's going to be list item creation info and it returns a list item and I call it my item equals the value that this function returns now I can assign the values to every single field so my item title equals 
oranges my item the second field was quantity equals for example 100 my item the next field was unit of measurement and I call it for example kilograms and finally my item expiry date it's gonna be date time dot now dot date and I want to say add months let's say three months from now I need to update my item and finally I need to package and send everything to SharePoint by running execute query as simple as that and I need to say message box dot show item inserted let's run it I can click on it it tells me item inserted I can go back to the products refresh the page and I can see the oranges with a quantity of 100 unit of measurement kilograms and the expiry date is three months from now which takes us to January 2017 thank you for watching if you find this video useful please click the like button and share the video with the others have a wonderful day Thank you.